Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and if you're new here, welcome. Um, so today we're gonna to be doing an assumptions about me. So I put this up on my Instagram. So a lot of you put in assumptions about me. Um, so I'm really excited to go through them all. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. So stay tuned if you wanna see what people think about me. Question number one, we'll start off soft. You didn't always want to be a makeup artist. Um, true and false, I wanted to do beauty. I was always like into beauty and fashion since I was a little girl. I loved dressing up, loved putting on makeup. And when I started working in the beauty industry, I actually just fell into makeup artistry by accident. Um, and then I went and did a makeup artistry diploma and then I did a teaching diploma and here I am now. You are surprised how fast your following grew and how quickly you became successful. I was very surprised, to be honest. Um, when I went into makeup artistry, it was during, during the recession, so I took a massive risk going in and being self-employed. Um, so yeah, like my business just really grew rapidly, which I was quite shocked about because I was I was had such a fear that I was giving up everything to do it. I have I had no money. Like literally, I started my business with a fiver. Hadn't a clue about accounts. Hadn't a clue what I was doing. I literally just winged the whole lot, and that is the gospel truth. There was no strategy. There was no plan. All I had was passion and determination. But just because I had no strategy and no plan, I literally worked my absolute bum off like literally I never went out I worked long hours at one point I was working two jobs to pay for my makeup business so um, I was working another job to basically buy products to do on clients so as long as you have passion and determination you'll get what you want you've learned not to care what people think please teach <laughs> I don't know do I come across like that <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't really care what people think, to be honest. I and I wasn't always like that. Like I was very um, insecure person. I had no confidence at all. And literally, when I started my makeup business, it was like a push that I had to be. I had to talk to people, and I started talking to clients, and then my confidence started to grow a bit. And then literally, I forced myself in front of the camera on Instagram. And I remember the first day I did it, I was so nervous. And the first thing that I thought was like, oh my God, everyone's gonna think I am this, and everyone's gonna think I'm that, everyone's gonna think I'm loving myself, who does she think she is? Do you know, you're only from a small town. Um, and yeah, like, I've got that, believe me. I've heard back of people saying stuff. And um, I suppose back then I was a bit like hurt by it, but then as I got older, I actually stopped caring what people think because at the end of the day, it's their perception and their belief on you and that isn't the truth. If you're just a person who is trying to better yourself and trying to do well, you shouldn't care what people think really. Um, the only people that I take opinion from is people that I really trust and love. So either family members or friends, um, if they said something to me, I would take it on board. But if it's someone that I do not know and don't have my best interests at heart, I don't care anymore what they think. And um, because at the end of the day, I know that I'm trying to be the best person I can be. I put 110% 110% into my work and everything I produce and I have a massive passion for it. So yeah i don't really care what people think anymore but i did i didn't have confidence believe me i still remember the first day i came on camera and oh my god i was so nervous Um, it took me a couple of years and i really only say in the last maybe two years is where i'm really confident and probably stepped out of my comfort zone um and yeah now i do what i want to do and um, not in a bad way i would never go and hurt anyone intentionally but I do and I think as well to grow confidence it has to come from yourself as well I don't think it can be forced and um, there will come a time in your life where something will either trigger it or something will happen that you will say no enough is enough I'm not going to push back on my own dreams because of maybe what someone might think or what this person might think as long as you're not hurting anyone on your journey do what you want to do um, I don't agree with hurting anyone in the on your journey. I don't agree with being mean to people or 
not just being unkind to people but yeah confidence takes time and um yeah so if you have a passion and you want to follow it and even if you want to start a youtube channel do it i know it's very very daunting but you will get the confidence as you go along your confidence so i kind of answered that one in the last question i'm learning to be confident so as i said it's a process it's not going to happen overnight you have to learn to start loving your flaws and then you will be confident and um, but at the moment i'm learning to grow and love myself and confidence takes time and as long as well I think if you have a supportive network behind you, your confidence will grow that bit quicker. Quicker. If you're in a negative environment, your confidence can go down quite low. So just make sure you surround yourself with positive and loving people and then your confidence will grow. You're a real girl's girl, very supportive and nice to all you meet. Yeah, I would be a girl's girl. I'm very like girl power. Um, I do think though, I don't think girl power is a strong as it should be in the real girls girl supporter i think women should support women i think um i think it's very important but if there is if you feel the girls are not supportive just don't take it personally again the issue is with them and not you you seem very quiet and shy yes i know <laughs> i'm very um i am quiet and shy in a group situation so if I walked in and there's a big group, I would be very reserved. Um, but if you know me, you know I'm not quite enjoy. <laughs> um, yeah, like I'm not. <laughs> but if you don't know me, I probably do come across like that. Um, big crowds kind of like, not intimidate me, but I would hold back and kind of um, protect myself um, because there's such a lot of different vibes and auras going on around me so once you really get to know me that's when you see the real me I'm not really like quite and shy no <laughs> you're a little diva <laughs> okay so diva can be looked at in different ways so like I don't okay I'll answer the question first you're a little diva yeah I probably am a diva but not a bad diva like I wouldn't walk into the room and be like hey look at me but in regards to um, like getting what I want, yes. <laughs> Not like off other people, anything that I get what I want, I get it for myself. But if someone can try tell me no about something and I'll just do it anyway, no one can really tell me what to do. Um, like if I have an idea or thought in my head and someone says, no, you shouldn't do that, I'll go do it anyway. <laughs> um, so Diva, Diva, I suppose, in a way that I hustle for what I want, I suppose, would be the best way. But I'm not like diva, diva, like get out of my way, everyone, hello, I'm here. Like, not that, not that sort of diva, believe me. You're super independent, don't need a guy for anything. Boom, yes. I have tried to be independent since I have been a little girl. I do not like anyone paying for anything for me. I like to pay my own way, I like to buy my own things. Um, I literally like to support myself because at the end of the day you only have yourself if anything happens so I know that if I was on my own in this world I would be able to provide for myself and defend for myself you're an overthinker yes I'm an overthinker like I do not sleep like at all especially when I was working like, like I could sleep maybe two hours a night max um, sometimes I'll go to four hours, but I'm thinking about work, I'll be thinking about content, I'll be thinking about everything, like I'm an overthinker. I think I deal with it quite well, apart from the lack of sleep. <laughs> You're outgoing. Yeah, I'm very outgoing. I would talk to literally anyone. Like I love having chats with people and I miss all my clients as well, especially with lockdown. Um, I got, I've developed such good relationships with clients, um, but again, I'm actually better in one-to-one -one situations than groups. You have a shopping addiction. I do a bit of a shopping addiction, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry. Oh, look at this message. You're one of the nicest people in the industry, so support. <laughs> Thank you. Who was your first boyfriend? <laughs> Would you believe my first boyfriend was actually Keith? <laughs> so, me and Keith got with each other when we were 12, and then I broke up with him. Um, and then we got back with each other when we were 16, 16 or 17. Um, so Keith was my first boyfriend. You were popular in secondary school. Um, 
I was in a big group, like I have a big group of friends, so um yeah, like I suppose, like I, I don't really know how to answer that. Where are the pants in your relationship? Um, no, I'd say it's 50-50. Maybe I do a little bit more. <laughs> Negative comments don't affect you. Some things like would affect me. Um, but I've I've grown to deal with it to be honest. Um, like to be honest, I don't get that much negative comments. Um, I obviously do not want to jinx it right now, but I've definitely got a few. Um, and more so, it's what actually wasn't directly said to me. It was things that have come back to me that I've heard. Um, but I just let it, I just brush it over my shoulder because, again, if it's not someone that is close to me, um or someone that I actually care what they think, it doesn't bother me anymore. Like I've got a few hurtful comments, all right, um, through my Instagrams and things like that. Um, but I suppose like a couple of years ago, I would be very upset about it. But now I just, I just, I don't really, I don't really like play up to it to be honest. Um, like one of the weirdest ones I got was someone told me that they were unfollowing me because um, my fingers were too fat when I was like show showcasing products. And the thing is like you can say a negative comments, comments don't affect you, but if you are getting enough negative comments every day, it's it's pure human for it to affect you. Um, like I see some um, influencers or celebrities who are getting really badly negative comments towards them. At the end of the day, they are human as well. I don't agree with typing or insulting another person because um, at the end of the day you don't really know them personally you know them through a screen and again people only put up what they want to put up in front of like a screen in front of Instagram be kind like if you've nothing good to say do not say it at all a shut mouth catches no a shut mouth catches no flies as my mother would say you don't want kids um, I do want kids, but I think this question can be quite personal as well. Um, I think as well when you assume people don't want kids or um, you don't really know their circumstances behind it. But at the moment, no, I'm focused on my career. Um, if it happens, it happens. Um, but at the moment, no, you're a bad cook. <laughs> I'm actually a really good cook, but I hate cooking. Um, like I would just literally eat out all the time if I could. You'd never cut your hair short. No, like I would literally have a meltdown. If you ever see me with my hair cut short, you know Melissa's after having a breakdown. But no, I would love short hair. I absolutely love short hair on people, but I just don't think it would suit me because I just wouldn't have the patience to style it every day. At least when you have long hair, you can just like tie it up because I'm really, really lazy at my hair. You're competitive. No, I'm actually not at all. I'm actually not one bit competitive. I'm competitive against myself and that's really it. You work out a lot because you're so thin. Um, I've always been naturally petite and that's just my body type. I work out because it actually helps me to gain muscle and I don't look as, I don't like the word skinny, um, but I just don't look as, um, when I work out I actually have more shape, I have more definition, I gain muscle. Um, and I actually look a bit bigger than I would if I didn't work out. You're an extrovert life of the party. I'm actually more, this is weird, I'm actually in between an introvert and an extrovert. So deep down I'm an introvert, but I think my job has forced me to be an extrovert. But I enjoy my own company, I enjoy being on my own. Um, but when I'm at a party, yeah, like, I am, I suppose, a partier. Um, <laughs> you get really drunk. <laughs> I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I get really drunk. But when I do, when I do go out, I like to, um, I do like to celebrate. You're a low key wild child in your younger days. Mm, probably yeah. You don't like drama. No, I absolutely despise drama. I try to go away from it as far as I can. Um, I don't like when brought into drama. It really gives me like anxiety drama. You grew up extremely wealthy. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Everything that I did in life, I earned myself. Um, I suppose I come from like 
working class background. And again, wealthy is different to everyone. Like wealthy to some people could mean health, wealthy to some people could mean like a billion euro, wealthy to some people could mean a thousand euro, so it differs, but you're very emotional. Um, yeah, I probably am very an emotional person. I'm very good at hiding my emotions though as well, but when they, when I hit a breaking point, they will come out. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know I've had up and down outbursts, especially during lockdown, um, but generally I'm very, very good at hiding my emotions. You would love YouTube to be your job. Yes, 100%. I actually really, really love YouTube. Um, I love just sitting here and like talking to everyone. Um, YouTube is very, very hard though, and I did come into it a bit late, I think. Um, but yeah, like I would love, like I am manifesting for YouTube to be my full-time career um, and just creating content. Like that, I think that's my area that I feel I'm drawn to right now is creating content and creating um, YouTubes. So yeah, manifesting to be a full-time YouTuber. You have five figures in your bank account. No, but can you send me direction of where I can find this bank account? <laughs> you would love to get surgery. <laughs> okay, wow, <laughs> wow. The only surgery I honestly probably would consider is a boob job. I've always wanted a boob job since I was younger, um, but I kind of grew out of that idea. Like, you'd love to do a reality TV show um, like Love Island. Well, I'm not single, so I can't really do Love Island. You're a jealous wife. Definitely not. You didn't like school. No, I actually really like school. That you're gonna be a future billionaire. <laughs> Please, yes. I would love to be a future billionaire. <laughs> Here's the bulk of the assumptions about me. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and make sure you comment below on what you'd like me to create next week. And make sure you head over to my Instagram and give me a follow there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.